Hello. When we're brought into this world, when we choose to come into this world, however it happens, we're innocent. We have a sense of innocence about us because this existence is new to us, this existence that we're just coming into. But as we're growing, our innocence changes to ignorance. And ignorance is what everyone then carries out with throughout the rest of their life. That's what most people are operating with today in this world is ignorance. A lot of people go by ignorance is bliss <laughs> because they don't want to know more. If they know more, then it causes them stress when it's really the opposite. You're already stressed, so why don't you start learning and figure out why you're stressed? One of the things that takes away our innocence and turns it to ignorance is school. School is one of the biggest proprietors of the propaganda train to get us on the right path to adulthood. And in school, they give you a grading scale, A, B, C, or yeah, A, B, C, D, F. They skip the E. interesting which F is ends up being the sixth letter of the alphabet but one of the things that you learn in school when you're young very young is spelling and spelling most of us know is magic I mean you cast a spell on someone that's magic we're told that openly in our society Yet no one relates it to spelling in school. That's what's going on when we're learning to spell. Our minds literally being cast with a spell because we don't know what we're actually reading. We don't know what we're actually spelling. We don't know the numerology, the gematria, the energy that's actually coming from those words. We're just being taught the letter and how to say it. That is, that's spelling right there, that's magic. They're, brainwashing they're programming our brain to think this way and forget the rest of this because the rest of this will tell us how this end product actually works it'll make us understand why it makes us feel this way or that way when you just say it though you, you don't you don't get any of that it just happens and in school we all had to do these First, we had spelling tests because spelling is huge in school. They, there's a set curriculum that teachers have to follow, I'm sure, for spelling in school. And you have to take tests, you have homework in it, and you have spelling bees, which is called a spelling bee. So it's casting a spell on a bee which bees have been looked at to our society a lot. They've been compared a lot to our society and our way of life, which when you think about it, a spelling bee, then the bees that we are are the working bees. So your spelling bee turns you into a working bee because we go into the workforce and begin working for the queen bee, which is whoever's on top of this world, that's the queen bee. Same way in a beehive, the working bees collect the pollen for the queen bee and they store it all. And then they live in their small honeycombs which are a hexagonal shape, about the same size and all, which we all live in square houses, which most of them are roughly between 1,000 and 2,000 square feet. It's not that big of a size difference. When you equate that people on this world have houses that are 50,000 square feet, <laughs> So we are truly the working bees. We're working in our honeycombs that we go back to every night, then we go out, 
spend our, our energy to make the queen bee happy because we're making the system keep going. That's the whole point. We're giving our energy to the queen bee. The same thing that the working bee is doing in a beehive. It goes out, collects the pollen to be able to produce the honey for the queen bee. They do the same thing every day. And most of us here do the same thing every day with work until we either retire or we die working, which a lot of people do do that. <laughs> because a lot of people, once they retire even, they go and get another job because they just don't know what to do with their life if they're not working. But back to the spelling, they even put this literally right in front of our face with spelling bee. They have national championships for spelling bees. There is a movie about a spelling bee. And no one questions, why is it spelling? <laughs> why is it a bee? Because no one's asking questions. Everyone's living in ignorance. And they're okay with it because they're being told everything. But once you stop being told everything, you stop living in ignorance. You have to come up with stuff on your own then. And once you start coming up with stuff on your own, you just start questioning everything, which is what we all have to do. We all have to start coming up with stuff on our own. We need to stop allowing people to give us this pre-packaged bullshit and regurgitating it to each other like it's the truth. It's not the truth because we just learned, someone just told it to us and we believed it. There is nothing that we can go down and prove that what we were told is actually true at all because it just comes from someone. It's someone's opinion, it's someone's idea, it's someone's thought. The same that we can have once we stop living in ignorance. When you're living in ignorance, you do not come up with your own ideas because you're way too gullible. You're way too, you believe things way too much. Usually it's only in certain directions because I can go up and talk to someone and they'll say I'm completely crazy and they won't believe me because of other reasons. But the, the point I wanted to get on this video though is we are the working bees, which came from them putting a spell on us. I'm sure a lot more people out there know more about bees than I do because I don't know much about bees, but I'm sure that there's even more similarities that line up between us and bees. I'm sure it goes very into detail with the similarities between us because it seems like either they created the bee for it to be a mirror of what we're doing so that we're looking at our entrapment in this world, which that's how a lot of things are. We're, we're looking at the entrapment of ourselves in another way which is movies and entertainment that's very common and it psychologically just keeps us trapped or they actually modeled the trap that we're in after bees bees might have already existed maybe some type of older bee a prehistoric I just got that word. Prehistoric means before history, which is when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, which I always had a feeling, which I still do, think that we are the dinosaurs that roamed the earth. And that would have been prehistory, prehistoric. Pre before everything we've been told to believe is true. But Either the bees were already here and they modeled the trap by looking and observing bees and they figured that's how they're going to be able to trap the society. Or like I said first, it's because they created it to keep us in a circle. When we're looking at our own entrapment in this world, it's creating a circle in our mind. It just keeps us running in because we're living in ignorance. As long as we're living in ignorance, we're not going to notice it. So when we start living for ourselves, questioning things, figuring things out for ourselves, is when you're gonna look at that and be like, that really looks like our world. That looks like something that's going on right now. Because a lot of things that are put in front of our face are, are exactly what's going on right now. 
That's uh, pretty much it for this video though. If you have any questions, comments, leave them at the bottom. Have a good night, everyone.